Hey there magic one, welcome to your weekly tarot reading and welcome to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Bronya and I am an intuitive tarot reader and every week I bring you a weekly reading here on YouTube. I also deliver monthly readings and yearly readings and other themed readings as well. Uh, I also do offer personal readings and healings also. So you will find a link down below where you can head across to my website and see what I do offer if you would like to get a reading for your personal circumstances to let you know that spaces are filling up fast now so if you want to arrange a reading uh, the time really is now for that um, I also teach tarot I have a course called The Initiation, which is my immersive learn tarot journey. And in that you will learn a full foundation in tarot as well as my signature process for reading tarot from the heart that really resonates. So you'll also find the link down below um, if you would like to get immediate access to all of the learning resources there and start learning to guide yourself as well. You can also connect with me beyond YouTube on Instagram and also by joining my Karmic Community mailing list. You'll find links down below. Please do use those links. There are fake accounts out there on Instagram, but if you use the link below, you'll make sure that you end up in the right spot. Well, that's it from me. And for now, as usual, I am just wishing you so much love and magic. Let's head across to your reading now. Leo, welcome to your tarot reading for November 21st to the 27th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you, Leo. Oh, I've got the nine card block here. I've got three for your recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome, oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. So Leo, look at the spread here. We've got two aces. We have the amazing sun energy and the wheel of fortune. Um, it feels like change is upon you and of course new beginnings as well. And I think you're going to, to choose to go for it. So we'll get to that. Now the first oracle out is you, the muse. And I just get the feeling that Maybe somebody's got their eye on you. Maybe you've got your eye on somebody, okay? It feels like there might have been some romantic temptation here. Now, the next one out is befriend the word polarize, polarity, opposites. Now, somebody might have caught your attention or vice versa that is quite different from you, okay? Um, the higher fence in the reading, they might come from a different... Uh, you know cultural background they might come from a different religion they may have different values from you and it feels like almost like a bit of a forbidden fruit here is what I'm feeling but I feel like there is also a lot of energy here okay so the moonology card is a new romantic cycle begins new moon in Libra we finished the reading on the ace of cups so yes I do think this is a love reading and um, I think that there is uh, a new offer here coming in or maybe it is you that needs to approach that person now Leo they could be a Capricorn or a Virgo I also have the Hierophant here so I've got a lot of earth vibes coming through the Sun is your major arcana we have links to Cancer and Pisces with the moon so it may be one of those signs that you're dealing with so the devil is your lead tarot energy now a few things here this can be where we are being tempted. Now, you might already be in a partnership, maybe even a marriage or higher commitment, de facto situation with the Hierophant here. So if you are being tempted, then you obviously have a lot of questions to answer within yourself, as in, you know, are you willing to leave the situation and do the right thing rather than secret keeping? Um, others of you might need to just be mindful, you know, around um, intentions and agendas here. Uh, with the devil okay it can be where we sort of can be tempted for reasons such as you know um, you know lust or status or looks that sort of thing because with you the muse it could be that somebody is quite um, you know I say the word obsessed with you but just very focused on you or vice versa okay and it's not necessarily a bad thing but just be mindful of that so I've got the Hermit here and it's Virgo energy and um, this could be you really, really reflecting, Leo, on what to do in this situation. 
Sometimes when a hermit comes up, we need to take a moment to seek our own counsel, to go inwards, to really tune into what we truly want. Um, there is a little bit of an element here of feeling a bit lost or misguided here. And um, I do think for a lot of you, this is because there is a, a current relationship involved and maybe you didn't expect the situation coming come, to come in. So I also feel that there's been a temptation here because even though I see that maybe you're in a committed relationship, it feels like you have been alone in that or feeling alone or feel like it has lost its way. And that's why, you know, when somebody comes in that, you know, uh, ticks all the boxes for you, it feels like, you know, it, it feels very attractive. So we've got that Hierophant, Eight of Swords and Ace of Pentacles here um, in the recent past. So as I mentioned before, the Hierophant can stand for the fact that there is a an existing higher commitment here that maybe you've been feeling a little bit um, trapped within. Uh, the devil energy could be about that relationship. You might have stayed in it because of codependency around, you know, finances and assets or you know, kid giving for children, those kinds of scenarios, not wanting to break up the home. So I do see that there, that there is some kind of entrapment or my hands are tied. But I also feel, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, that somebody else has caught your attentions here, okay? And maybe that has made, made you feel even more, you know, well, what to do now? Um, as I mentioned before, I think this person could be quite um, either different from your existing partner or different from you. The Hierophant can talk about, uh, you know, the traditional and challenging tradition. So they might be one way or the other, whatever is the opposite uh, to you. They might come from different, you know, spiritual, religious value backgrounds here with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is really, uh, you know, a point of change. It's it's number five in the major arcana here, Leo, and it's really saying that the decision that you make right now is quite pivotal to, you know, where you end up in the future, how your chapters change, how your timelines shift. And with the Wheel of Fortune down here, the universe does want to uh, it wants to shift you somewhere else is what I'm feeling. It usually comes in when we are changing cycles or chapters in our lives and going through profound change. So I really do see that for you. So we have the moon at the heart of the reading. Now you may have already made some kind of um, connection, a solid connection with this person. Sometimes the moon can be where we are keeping secrets or we can feel the undercurrent of energy you know usually when there's that you know strong attraction between two people you both feel it and I feel like that energy has been building has been building and you know either way it's really highlighted to you that maybe you you you're not as compatible as you thought in your um situation at the moment so um it's important to obviously resolve that and to make some decisions here. The Eight of Cups can really be an awakening, Leo, to the fact that, well, I'm really actually not emotionally fulfilled in my current situation. I don't have the Ninth Cup. There's a, there's a piece missing, and that Ninth Cup could be, you know, the emotional availability, somebody who truly, uh, you know, gets you at a soul level. Somebody that although might come from a different background, you know, is bringing in new perspective and new ideas and shifting you into a place that, you know, you didn't expect but feels right. So I feel that the Eight of Cups this week is really saying you should be considering moving on. The missing piece is here in the Ace of Cups and the Sun, which is your major arcana, Leo, is usually a yes card or a green light to move forward to victory and it can indicate that you know it really can indicate that the future is bright ahead so I was just seeing you know I've got night with the moon and day with the sun night and day it might be that this new situation new person is night and day from your current life your current reality but it is tempting it feels good you know this is maybe what you've always wanted underneath but you've been following the traditional path you know uh you know marriage um you know stable job you know have children all that sort of thing but it feels like there is something within you that you know you really want to explore here 
And it's a rebirth. It's almost like a rebirth, you know, coming back to your essence here is what I truly feel. So we also have Sagittarius in, uh, energy here with the temperance. And temperance is about the fact that there's a, there's a divine guidance here. There's a divine guidance, divine protection. And temperance actually says conditions are just right, Leo. It's like this was meant to happen at this time. This is the change you've been waiting for. The Wheel of Fortune being a number 10 in the Major Arcana is generally about huge profound shifts and expansion within you. There's something about your situation currently, Leo, that feels a bit uh, like restrictive or sheltered is the word. And this connection is coming in to have you broaden your horizons is what I'm feeling. So the Wheel of Fortune talks about timing. Temperance talks about conditions being just right for this tempting offer and the potential to begin a new romantic cycle. One that's not just about stability, security, traditional values, but one that's actually fulfilling you at a proper soul level. Because when you entered into this one, it was just the next natural step to move in together, to get married, to form this connection. Whereas this time it's like your heart and soul is choosing this person, okay? Different criteria. That's what I'm feeling. So will you say yes, Leo? That is the question. Let's get some more for the outcome. Oh, the moon again. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and... Um, the sun and the moon, let's not forget, is eclipse energy. This can be life-changing for you. And, and often the moon is also associated with a hidden blessing. Yeah, but also three of swords. There is going to be a severing of ties. There is going to be a disconnection as well. And that is, you know, something else to be completely navigated here. King of Cups, that was flashing up before. Scorpio energy. But the King of Cups says that this is a different type of connection. This is from the heart, from the soul, emotional availability, someone that can be your true rock, but from a place of not necessarily being like, okay, we're doing this kind of traditional relationship provider, traditional roles, but somebody to grow and expand and explore and meet you in all of that energy. It could be a Scorpio. So that's what I have for you, Leo. I am wishing you all the best. And um, do keep in mind being a general reading for the collective and pretty specific. It won't resonate for everybody. But please do uh, drop me a comment. I love connecting with you over there. And hit that subscribe button to keep the readings coming and support the channel. I'm just wishing you so much love and magic, Leo. Do take care. Bye for now.